big uh, welcome to every one of you to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, and the biggest welcome from me is to Alan Smith alongside me. The match today is Newcastle United, and they play Burnley. Newcastle United! Here is the Newcastle United Number one, Rob Elliott. Number 22, DeAndre Yedlin. Number two, Kieran Clark. Number 19, Anquilo. Number 11. Newcastle United's lineup. Rob Elliott plays in goal. Mankio starts with DeAndre Yedlin in the fullback positions. John Joe Shelby starts with Mikel Marino in central midfield. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. And number 21, Josele. This is the Burnley lineup. Jack Cork starts with Jeff Hendrick in midfield. Ashley Barnes is the main striker today. It is extraordinary in this city centre stadium, and maybe because of it, where it's like a goldfish bowl to play here in Newcastle. They haven't won anything domestically since 1955. No, it is incredible. I mean, this place dominates the skyline in Newcastle, and they turn up in their thousands every other week. They're just crying out for a football team that can compete for silverware. Enjoy the match. Mike Dean is the referee. It could be a special day, this one, for Newcastle United. We'll see. They've got the game underway. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Stephen Defoe. Here's a chance to attack. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Neatly intercepted. Out for a throw and uh, over the touchline. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Corner kick given. <laughs> here comes the corner. Cleared away by the defender. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Good reading of the play by the defender. Ben Mee. Taylor. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Could be dangerous. That's a throw. Stephen Defoe. Taylor. Arfin. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Got it back again from his teammate. Attacking well here. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Taylor.
be a throw. Just spotted the ball up and they're playing. John Joe Shelby. Now Atsu. Mikel Marino moving forward again. And Newcastle United. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Using his physical power to protect the ball. There's some potential in this move. Stephen Defoe. We've given it straight to the opposition. John Joe Shelby. A return ball. Jack Cork. Stephen Defoe. It's Burnley pressing on. He's in here. Good work by the goalkeeper. We've got two added minutes. There will be a minimum of two. And they get it away. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. And there is the half-time whistle, nil-nil at the break. The lack of noise really at half-time tells you how disappointed the supporters are with that first half, but they, like us, will be hoping for better in the second period. Yeah, they uh, didn't make much noise, and when the players walked off, one or two fans by the tunnel, I noticed, giving some of the lads some stick, but they'll be hoping for better. Time now for the second half to start. Stephen Defoe. And this could be a really good move from Burnley. John Joe Shelby. It's Manquillo. Is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Jose Lu. Manquillo. Return pass. And Newcastle on the attack. Now Atsu. Very good distance to the clearance. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Jack Cork. Well, they've lost an opportunity here, trying to break. John Joe Shelby. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. That's good defending at the end of what was a really promising break. Jack Cork. It's Burnley pressing on. Tackle goes in. It's Manquillo. Jack Cork. Stephen Defoe. It is a team that can really hurt you with the number of passes that they play. Now the shot! Struck the post here. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. 
Andrew Yedlin. Now Atsu. That's good movement forward here. Steered through. Must score. Anticipate. They stopped him in the nick of time. Christian Atsu. Some options now for the pass. Could whip it in from here. It's an excellent cross. Now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Throw in now. Substitution for Newcastle United. Well, we waited to see which of the coaches would take the chance, really, risk losing to try and win. And he's done that by bringing on the extra striker. The score's still level. Yeah, you've got to applaud the move. I just wonder whether the opposing manager now might make an adjustment, perhaps put on another defender. To be replaced by... Stephen Defro. Taylor. Only partially away from danger. Well, that's good support play from his teammates. Here's Taylor. Oh, the whistle's gone, it's a foul. Uh, it's a free kick in a useful position late in the game. Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Had a crack! Oh, that is his party piece. Putting it in the net direct from a free kick. Brilliantly done. We don't always see it when the players run over to celebrate with the manager, but this boss, he's got a close relationship with his players. You could see it there. A marvellous goal here. Well, as soon as they won that free kick, you could see what was on the horizon. What a take. Taken with great aplomb. Wonderful goal. <laughs> so the first goal, it's 1-0. The Newcastle United supporters want more ambition from the club. Now they want more ambition from the players in these last few minutes. Yeah, the Toon Army in full voice, and uh, they're hoping for much better than what they've seen. Walters. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Here's the chance. Oh, they've got another one. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and feels he should have done better. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Restarting at 2-0. Goal, number 19. Matt Ritchie. Well, that's the end of the game. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.